I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial today. How I like to style my hair to give it that bouncy, volumized, blowout look that you get at the hair salon at home. And I'm gonna be using Conair products, which are very affordable. You can get them at the drugstore, so it's even better. I washed my hair. I like to wash my hair at night and then kind of style it the next day, but you can absolutely do this in the same day. I just kind of split it up because I feel like my hair, when it's super, super, super dry, like the next day dry, it just styles better, but that's just my unique hair and hair texture, I think. So my hair is clean and I just kind of brushed it and I'm gonna go into styling. First thing that I like to do is use this Conair The Knot Doctor. One of those blow dry brushes. And from what I know, I was using them wrong. I feel like a lot of people were too maybe to start is you're not really supposed to use this on wet hair because it will just damage and rip out your hair. It's actually best and meant to be used on dry hair. And then you can kind of style it, pre-style it in the way you want to give you that blowout kind of look. So I'm going to kind of use this with Conair Hot Rollers. I have these warming up right now. They're Hot Roller set that you put in your hair and secure. So I'm gonna use it along with the, the blow dry brush. I'm gonna use these together to make that blow dry, blow out bouncy hair kind of look. I'm going to take front pieces and start warming them up and putting them through the brush and then secure some hot rollers in. Okay, the first one is a set and in. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get those to stay, but it might look a little messy, but it's okay. It usually, it ends up looking just fine. And then I'm gonna work just down my head this way, doing the same thing. And I'm using the biggest size of a roller. I like to use a little bit bigger of a hot roller on the top of my head. Smaller ones kind of for the sides and length of my hair because I find that kind of can soften, loosen, and follow through the day. I'm gonna do the same thing, but with the smaller rollers here. I'm gonna move to the second smallest size. A roller I'm gonna put in kind of away from my face and roll the hair away. This one I do facing down. So same thing over on this side. just gonna split this one into probably just two and use that medium size and just do a small the smallest size one just so that it kind of gives me max curl at the ends that side is done so these are my curlers in place I'm gonna let them sit until they probably like 10 or 15 minutes until they're cool to the touch and then i will just take them out show you guys the final result and how i style the hair once it's out because that's always an important step i took the rollers out and it honestly like i haven't brushed or done anything and the hair looks amazing i'm going to kind of do a little bit of brushing so a middle part i always kind of have one so it kind of naturally went there but i use a comb like this it's a maybe an edge comb i think from sally beauty but i really like this to get a perfectly straight part take a brush and I like to brush through the hair. Girls, you can keep them as is, but this kind of gives that more soft, blown out salon look when you give it a brush, but you can absolutely just leave it how it was because that looks great as well. I like to sometimes go through and add some volume to some of these curls that I really like and want to stand out around my face and then couple on either side. I don't want to back home too much because I want this shine to stay. You can make it kind of as big or small as you want depending on your mood but look how easy that is. I honestly barely had to style this. Sometimes add a little bit of finishing spray to kind of keep it in this shape as much as I can through the day or the night whatever I'm doing. This is my final look for my at-home bouncy salon blowout look using inexpensive drugstore 
Conair hair products, which is just so easy and accessible to everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it down below and follow me here at hall underscore ward on YouTube. Don't forget to head over to Instagram as well and follow me over there at hall underscore ward. I will leave links for all of the products I used here down below. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time.